Hello again, and welcome to another episode of Firearms Friday at the Wyoming State Museum. My name is Evan Green. I'm a volunteer here at the museum, and I have this wonderful opportunity of assisting the staff in updating the inventory of the firearms in our permanent collection. History and guns, two of my favorite topics. I'm a kid in a candy store here. I love this work, and I love the opportunity of being able to put hands on to some of these historic weapons. And speaking of hands-on, you'll note I'm wearing gloves to prevent the introduction of any sweat, salts, oils onto uh, the surface of these firearms. Today we're going to be talking about two similar but still very different handguns. They are both Colt single-action army revolvers. This one is number one of 90 was issued or manufactured in 1989 in recognition of the centennial of Wyoming statehood. So it is a collector's item, and you'll notice uh, on this side it has uh, gold engraving or printing of the centennial, and on the other side is the seal of the great state of Wyoming. Certainly a collector's item. We're not going to manipulate this uh, at all to cock it or uh, move the cylinder because uh, any, any use of that type will eventually leave a mark on the firearm and eventually degrade the collector's value. So there's one. This one's in caliber 45 Colt, which was uh, the first caliber that the revolver was manufactured in in 1873 when it was introduced. Now here's one that actually I like better because this gun has a story. You'll note that the grips, all the checkering on the hard rubber grips are worn smooth. There's no trace of the original color case hardening on the hammer or the frame. Almost 100% of the blue has been worn off of the barrel, the frame, and the cylinder. You'll also notice that there's no trace of rust or corrosion. Somebody carried this gun every day for years and years to get this amount of wear on it, but the owner was very proud of this firearm because he took excellent care of it. Internally and externally, it's in very good condition. The sear may be a bit worn because it has a very light trigger, or that may have been done intentionally. Now, uh, an interesting story about this particular revolver is that the donor, when he gave it to the museum, noted in the uh, transfer documents that this pistol had belonged to Tom Horn. Now, most of you, many of you will know who Tom Horn was. He was an Army scout in the Indian Wars in the American Southwest. He worked as a Pinkerton detective and was hired in Wyoming as a stock detective to suppress rustling, uh, at which he was fairly efficient. He was convicted of killing Willie Nickel, who was the 14-year-old son of a sheep herder. He spent about a year in jail in Cheyenne, and in December of 1903 was hung for that crime. I mentioned uh, before that the serial number will tell us when the firearm was made. So, Horn was hung in 1903. This firearm was shipped from the Colt factory in Hartford, Connecticut in 1907. So there's a, no doubt a very interesting story about this particular firearm, but Tom Horn is not in it. So two very interesting, very unique, and very different Colt single action army revolver. As always, if you have comments, questions, suggestions for what you'd like to see, or if you have more information about any of the items, any of the firearms that you see in these videos, please note in the comments below, or stop by the museum and let us know directly. Thank you for watching, have a good day, and be safe.